In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today, my dear friend, uh, being Friday, celebrating Saint Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church, we pray for the strength to face this new day, and each new day. Dear Lord, a new day is here, Friday the 10th. We've never lived this day before. It's full of unknown. It's full of possibility. It's full of moment no one but you can see. Thank you for seeing ahead of us on our path and being there to catch us when we fall. We can only live one moment at a time. Help us to live in each moment knowing you are there. Your Holy Spirit dwells in each moment, giving us comfort and guiding and directing us. Thank you for your grace and perseverance. Give us guidance and grace to walk in your light today. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be. World without end. Today, Friday, our sons and daughters will be doing chemistry practical. So remember our prayers on Monday. The same prayers we close the week with on Friday. As our sons and daughters sit for chemistry Practical. So again, if your son or your daughter struggles with this paper or with this subject, today is a day to do a specific prayer for chemistry. I love that. And today I want to request that as we pray for them, we can invoke the name of this great saint, Saint Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. Our gospel passage today is taken from Luke chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us the strange parable of a steward who was a rascal to teach us that serving God is a full-time job, not a part-time job or a spare-time hobby. Jesus also teaches us that in matters spiritual and eternal, we should use the same ingenuity and planning which business people show in the business world. The parable challenges us to use our blessings, our time, our talents, our health and wealth wisely and shieldry, so that they will count for our reward in eternity. We are on the right road only if we use our earthly wealth to attain our heavenly goal. The parable, in the parable, Jesus tells us how the slave steward over an absentee landlord caught red-handed in misappropriating his master's wealth, ingeniously cheating his master by his unjust manipulation of the master's business clients. His tricks were intended to make him the friend of his master's debtors and give him the prospect of becoming rich by working for them. When he was fired by his master from the stewardship. You know, we need to be faithful in the little things of life. As in John Chrysostom once said, and I quote, Faithfulness in little things is a big thing. End of the quote. Our future opportunities in the eternal service of God largely depend on our stewardship in handling the little opportunities we have had on earth. 
as Mother Teresa Saint used to recommend, and I quote, do little things with great love, end of the quote. We have to act shrewdly, trusting in the power and assistance of God. Dear good people, let us make use of our resources like hope in God's justice, faith in God's assistance, and trust in God's grace, celebrating the Mass and the sacrament as resources of divine grace and prayerfully studying the Holy Bible as the Word of God for daily meditation. Let us remember that as God's stewards, we need to be prepared to give an account of our lives at any time. At any time. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit do have a productive Friday. Our sons and our daughters, we are praying for you specifically till the last day. Niwega.